President Obama in North Carolina today taking his State of the Union message on the road, kicking it off in Asheville. That's where John, John Kemp joins us live tonight. John, the president was at a manufacturing plant selling his jobs plan, I hear. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Larry. Linamar, this manufacturing company, a Canadian company that's brought about 150 manufacturing jobs to this area, uh, that was the message the president was pushing in sourcing of manufacturing jobs. It is also the bread and butter of just about everyone who was there today, but not everyone was happy with what they heard. I believe in manufacturing. I think it makes our country stronger. Today, the president laid out his game plan for boosting manufacturing jobs in the U.S., new investments, worker retraining, tax reform. Common sense steps that we can take right now to strengthen manufacturing in America. The crowd was largely a friendly one. A few hundred people, company employees and their guests, and applause came easily. That makes sense. But to some in the audience, some of the president's talking points didn't make sense at all. John Long is a vendor for Linamar, a small business owner who would rather have heard a different message. Less barrier to entry for small businesses, less regulation, um, a, an environment where we can hire quicker, easier. Um, not raising the uh, uh, minimum wage doesn't help a small business at all. But most here seem to side with Mr. Obama. Don Cisnaski supports a higher minimum wage and the president's focus on retraining. If we want to stay a competitive country, we need to get, get we need to train our workers because these jobs are high tech and it takes a high tech workforce. Still, even supporters question how the president's game plan will play out on the field of partisan politics. I would love for a lot of the things that he's pushing to get through, but I don't think that it will. Why not? I don't think the Republicans will let it go. Today kicks off a three-day road show as the president tries to muster support for his policies and his proposals. Larry, we both probably can agree that's not a bad idea. He will need public support as he tries to push through ideas with major political pushback likely in the weeks and months to come. No doubt. John Camp in Asheville. Thank you, John. Yeah. Our coverage of the president's visit to North Carolina continues right now on ABC11.com. You'll find not only a transcript, but raw video of his speech at the plant in Asheville. You'll also find pictures taken by John Camp and our photojournalist, Chris Hart.